What was achieved by the human rights movement in the USSR? I am fully aware that we did not destroy this regime, that the regime decayed because of its own innate defects, because of its own innate stupidity, but undoubtedly our intervention quickened the process, and most importantly we contributed to it without bloodshed. We managed to give our country an example of how resistance is possible without bloodshed, without resorting to violence. The result of our intervention, especially at a high government level, was certainly devastating. Leaders of the Gorbachev period, Yakov Lev, for example, used to tell me this. The regime at that moment in time, also with our help, became so discredited that no one could have defended it, not even the KGB. And perhaps another result that was obtained thanks to our help is that during the era of Reagan and Thatcher, the Western world somehow found the strength to resist the Soviet regime. Both Reagan and Thatcher told me this personally. For example, they both told me rather bluntly that they came to realize that the West had a chance to win in the confrontation with the Eastern Bloc without resorting to war. The dilemma that arose in the West during the Cold War, the dilemma highlighted by leftist propaganda amongst others, was that in order to be able to confront the Soviet Union in any way, one had to either actively resist it or coexist with it peacefully. Peaceful coexistence meant moral surrender, and according to them, the lesson they learned from our example was precisely this, that you can defeat the Soviet Union without resorting to war. Now, thinking back to those years, I of course see that the current situation is not what we have hoped for from a strategic point of view at the time. It's just that our actions as young people aged 18 or 20, regardless of any strategic projection, were a spontaneous and immediate impulse. It was a refusal to bow our heads to the regime, an affirmation of our freedom. I will not bend to this regime no matter what happens to me, because I want to be free. Vladimir Bukovsky at the Communist Mentality Conference, Padua, Italy, November the 14th, 2000. All that we have succeeded in doing in a quarter of a century of desperate efforts is to show that, under Soviet conditions, it is possible to win morally and still remain a human being. Above all, naturally, what is involved is a victory over oneself because, I am deeply convinced, we always have a freedom of choice, even in prison, and no one can find a justification if he does not wish to use this freedom of choice. Vladimir Bukovsky in a letter to Polish solidarity leader Zbigniew Buyak, Andrei Sakharov and Peace, Continent Verlag, GmbH, 1985. In some unexpected way, we have managed to inspire a number of Western politicians to a peaceful confrontation with the Soviet Union. Ronald Reagan told me this at one time, and Thatcher said this to me many times. They explained this to me as follows. We were always sandwiched between these two extremes and did not see a solution, and you, your movement, have proven to us that the Soviet Union could be defeated without a single shot. And we, becoming convinced of this, increased our pressure on the Soviet Union. The arms race contributed to this, which the Soviets could not finance at the time, as well as lobbying for a drop in oil prices ultimately bankrupted the Soviet regime. This was our contribution to the collapse of communism. Vladimir Bukovsky, speaking at Spirali Edizioni Publishing House, Milan, Italy, 2007.